Hello everyone, I'm Fajar Purnama and on this video I would like to make a tutorial of how to install CUDA Toolkit on Ubuntu and here I'm using a Ubuntu Bionic Beaver which is Ubuntu 18.04 LTS but currently a development branch but it still works here so as you can see I'm using Kazam to record this video and on this second video I would like to tell you that there uh, that that on this video I will have I will show two steps the first two steps in before installing the CUDA toolkit so the first step is to switch from the open source is to switch the your graphic driver your GPU driver which if you're using uh, Nvidia you will be in default using the open source Nova AU driver which is currently to my knowledge it doesn't support using CUDA toolkit so you need to switch your graphic driver to the NVIDIA prop proprietary driver which I'm using NVIDIA version N384.111 and which I've already did and the next thing that you need to do is to update your system and then upgrade and then this main upgrade and install any other software that you may need okay so actually that's it for this video so let me before I finish let me talk for a bit about the CUDA toolkit so CUDA so uh, CUDA toolkit is actually a software to run your programs on the GPU so if you written programs in C, Python, or Octave or any other um, programming language you can have those programs launch on your uh, run on your GPU which support which supports uh, parallel programming in normally you the program runs on the CPU uh, which is currently uh, in default which is a serial so people would like to be able to run their program on the GPU so they can speed up their program for example if you are working on neural networks on artificial intelligence on data mining and data sets using the CPU can take uh, days weeks and maybe even longer to run your programs but if you use on the CPU but if you use the GPU it will be so much faster and that is one of the reason and what else do I want to talk about um, so so I made this video uh, as a main with the main which the main purpose is for documentation um, one of my on my laboratory um, I'm one of the person in charge of the GPU servers and this is just uh, one of the documentation if I'm gone like the peop the people who will continue this legacy will find this documentation useful if they are handling the GPU server oh and I just remember that I what I wanted to talk about is a they now they don't call the GPU a graphic 
there is another term for running program on the GPU GPU is a graphic processing unit and now there comes a term called GP GPU which is a general GP GPU which is a general programming of God for graphic processing unit okay let's just search on the Firefox GP GPU okay it's a general purpose computing on graphics processing unit so normally normally a GPU is only to hand a graphic processing unit it's only to handle graphics videos even multimedia but now you want to run programming on the GPU card on your graphic card and that's why they now call it a GP GPU which the general purpose is computing is to run programs on the GPU and so I'm that that's it for this video the next video is going to install the NVIDIA CUDA toolkit thank you